All right, guys, what's up? Uh, back again, doing some more easy ones. Uh, we're going to get into some medium ones soon. I'll do one today. Um, and we are doing fizz buzz right now, which is a super famous problem. Also super easy. People definitely just dislike the super easy ones, but, like, what's the deal with that? I mean, is that pretentious or what? Um, you know, some people have to start out, you know, so... Write a program that outputs the string representation of numbers from 1 to n. But for multiples of 3, it should output fizz instead of the number. And for multiples of 5, it should output buzz. So at a multiple of 3, we output fizz. So you see, it's basically just doing the string version of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up into the number we're given. So we have 15, right? So it goes from 1 to 15, starting at 1 to, all the way to 15. But for multiples of three, we get the word fizz instead. For multiples of five, we get the word buzz. Uh, and when sometimes that happens where it's both a multiple of three and five, so we get fizz buzz. Uh, it's a pretty easy problem just because it only involves a loop and if-else statements. Um, but uh, I think it's a good problem for beginners. And, you know, why not? Why wouldn't you like it? I think it's good. And it shows that you know how to program a little bit, you know. So companies want to give that. Maybe for an internship you would get this at first, you know. Shows that you might have a promising future if you can at least do this. Um, might be able to learn from here. So for numbers, which are most, yep, we get it. So it wants you to output an array of strings instead of just printing. So we're just going to initialize that. You can call it output array. You can get all result array, whatever you want. We're going to make this an array list. Uh, and then we're going to do our loop. So we'll have i equal to 1 because that's where it's starting. And it's going to go up to i less than or equal to n because we want to go up to and equal to 15 in that example. Um, and then we're also going to have variables too. So we're also going to have fizz is going to be to keep track of the multiples of 3. And then buzz is going to keep track of the multiples of five. So we declare initialize those. Just so you know, you can initialize multiple variables in a for loop like this with commas. Um, so then there's just a few conditions, right? So first off, each time we iterate, fizz will get incremented by one and buzz will get incremented by one. And then we're just going to check, okay, has fit, is fizz equal to three yet? And we'll do, we'll do the main condition here and uh, buzz equal to five. Here's well, I'll, I'm just gonna put all the conditions down right here. Uh, is fizz equal to three? Um, dang, a few conditions here, and then this one is just else. So here's the conditions: either fizz is equal to three, just fizz is equal to three, buzz is equal to five, fizz is equal to three, and buzz is equal to five. Or none of them are true, meaning that it's not a multiple of three. Or this checks if it's both a multiple of three and a multiple of five. This checks it's just a multiple of three. This checks it's a multiple of five. And uh, this is anything else. So this one's easy. This one is just output array. We just add the string representation of the integer. So you could use integer.toString or string.value of i. Uh, that one's super easy. Um, for this one, we're going to do, let's start with this one. We'll do output array dot add fizz because we need fizz. This one is five is output array dot add buzz. And what do we need to do? Once this gets to, th once fizz gets to three and we know it's a multiple of three, we're just going to reset it as well. Um, cause it's not, if it gets equal to three and it keeps incrementing, it'll never be equal to three again, unless we reset it. So whenever it gets a three, we'll just say, uh, fizz is equal to zero now and then append. And when it gets to five buzzes, we'll set buzz back to zero. And in the case that it's both, we'll set fizz equal to zero. Jeez, I cannot type today. And, but I mean, I just woke up, so uh, and buzz is equal to zero. So there we go. That's it. That's really all the whole problem is. And then you return your output array at the end. Pretty simple problem. You're just depending what they say. If there's multiples of three, multiples, uh, of, sorry, 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 sorry. We didn't, uh, add it to the output array. We have to add fizz buzz, the big word. There we go. Um, there you go. There you go. Faster than 100% of solutions. Pretty easy. You could do a string dot value of, but you're basically just checking for multiples of five. You could also use moduluses.
Uh, you know what I mean? Like you could say you could not have fizz and buzz variables. You could do delete these and um, do like if I mod three is equal to zero and I mod five is equal to zero and then just erase all of these fizz buzz variables. You know what I mean? Um, that's just another way to do it. But I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? You know, you get it. It's a really easy problem. Let me know if you have questions. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If it's a multiple of three, fizz, multiple of five, buzz, multiple of both, fizz, buzz, otherwise just the string of the number. There you go. That's it. Um, easy one for you guys. Very common problem. So should be able to figure it out. Um, that's it. See you guys next time. Check out my Patreon for the premium ones. All right. See ya.